Hello guys and welcome back to our Schalke 04 career mode. There are not many games left, 9 games in the league as well as, uh, let me think, so 2 games in the quarterfinals, then there would be 2 in the semifinals and 1 in the uh, Champions League final. I decided that there is a huge chance that this is the last season because I think I can win the league. I should be able to. But this is the first thing I want to start with in this um, video, in this episode. I want to ask you, just in the comments please tell me what happens or what do you want to see if you win this um, the league in this season but not the Champions League. So let's just say, Real Madrid is too good for us. We lose in the quarterfinals but we win the league. Should I then stop the KMO, the big goal was to win the league? Should I just stop it or do you want to see another season where I just go for the Champions League, which would mean, just in case you're new or you haven't seen it or whatever, I did that already in FIFA 16. Um, first episode would be the first three games in the group stage, second episode would be the uh, second three games in the group stage, then the third episode would be the two round of 16 games as well as the first quarterfinals, the fourth episode would be the second quarterfinals as well as the semifinals game and then episode 5, I think, would then be the um, Champions League final, so there would be 19, um, uh, 15 games if you can get in the final three games per episode and I probably would upload, maybe if, if it's possible for me, if I have the time, two episodes a day, but um, even if not, then it just is five days. So I really want to know if you want me to do that or not. In today's episode, if you can't remember, we will simulate a game against uh, RB Leipzig as well as Stuttgart because both teams are not too interesting, we can have a look at them in the league. You can see that um, Stuttgart is 12th place, Leipzig is actually not that bad, but they are 16 points behind us. For me, there is no reason to play against them. Afterwards, we will play against Bayern. Even though I wasn't really sure if I should play against them, and I'm still not 100% sure, because we are quite a lot of points in front of them, so I might actually simulate it between the two games. Yeah, so in front of the game, the first leg against Real Madrid, as well as in front of the second leg, we, play, we have games against Bayern and Leverkusen. And I thought I should play both. But on the other side, we are 18 points for Le in front of Leverkusen and we are 13 points in front of Bayern. So in case they're not getting too many points and we are still at least 5-6 points in front of um, Köln or Wolfsburg or whatever, I decided that I'm, I could actually simulate both games and just go for the Champions League in this episode. So I really have to see what I want to do, I'm not sure yet. Just whatever I really feel like. I want to do. So let's see, we should win it, we are playing at home as well, of course, especially we have really some problems now in the center back position, because um, a lot of players are missing. Depay with the goal draw, Depay is such an amazing player, I will have a quick look, Nastaj actually scored, I will have a look at the um, at the top goal scores, at this stuff, because I feel like Depay is one of the best, if not even the best, now he's scored in a second, he's crazy good. Last few minutes, we are definitely gonna win quite easily. Burke is going for them, okay, I, I, they can have one goal at least, but it's an easy 3-1 win, DB with two goals. Let's have a very quick look at um, how... Look, we are 8 points in front of Köln now. And still, now 16 points in front of Bayern who lost again. I really don't know if I really want to play against it. Ah, Depay is second at least. Now the game against Stuttgart, Baba has to play, that's the only bad thing as well as Stark, because of the injuries of Hövedes and Kolasinac. Which means they might be a bit tired soon. They are winning, but uh, Goretzka with a penalty is going the equalizer. Really nice to see that. They have an interesting team playing. Großkreuz, of course, but Goretzka and Zua, Zimmermann. Zimmer and Zimmermann, not, not, not bad. Weiser making a 2-1. If you win this game, Lot okay, Lotti making a 3-1. You can see Bayern is winning, Wolfsburg is winning at the moment. And nothing is changing, so it's a 3-1 win for us again, Bayern with a win, Wolfsburg with a win, but I think we are still at least 5 points in front of second. No, we are 9 points in front of second, they are losing points. Okay, Köln has the game in hand, so it, they could get down to 8, but it's still 8 points. So now the question, we are 16 points in front of Bayern, we probably have a better chance to win it if I simulate it. And we are at least 8 points in front of second and still don't think Köln is really the team we have to look at but Wolfsburg so we are 9 points in front of second I would say. Even if Köln is winning I'm looking at Wolfsburg. So I, even a 12 would be a decent result. I, I actually think I would simulate this game as well as the game against Leverkusen and will play both Real Madrid games today. I think that actually makes more sense. A tour would be definitely enough. I really just want a tour. And they're playing with a second choice squad as well. Atlanta, uh, kinda at least. 
I mean, Lewandowski is not playing, Bainatia, Griezmann, Bernard, they're not... Okay, Bernard is not better than Alaba, but... Okay, Eriksen scored. I really just want a tour. A tour and I would be perfectly happy, but Eriksen scoring is second. Okay, it seems like we're gonna lose. Which is still fine. Why did Traxler get on subbed in so early? That's really early, so he might not be on 1% stamina. We're gonna lose. I think that's quite clear now. Yes, so we lost against Bayern. Which is okay. Dortmund just got a tour. Didn't see any other important results. Uh, no injuries at least. Okay, Weiser, Stark, Baba, Traxler. These four are not on 100% of stamina, but because they had to play because of injuries as well as red card. The first game will be at home. I, um, I really want to play decent uh, defensive eyes, of course, because they are playing away. I don't want to give them away goals, so I want to get a 0-0-4, maybe a 2-1 win. But a 0-0-4, for example, would be a very decent result, because just one goal away would mean Real Madrid has to win. So let's have a look. Cavaral, Ramos, Navas, Varane, Marcelo, nothing changed. Um, no Pepe at least. Casemiro, Kroos, Rodriguez, Ronaldo, Hazard, Bale. So the only thing that changed is that Hazard is now playing for them and Ronaldo is a striker. Which I think makes sense because Ronaldo probably because of his age is a bit slower now. This might be in total the best team in the world. We have one of the best with like an average rating of like, I don't know, 83 maybe in our first year squad. 83, 84. But they probably have like an average rating of 87, 88. I mean, Hazard probably will have a 90 rating, Ronaldo like 92, 93, Bale will have like a 90. The defense has like crazy rating, so this will not be easy. I think that's quite clear to everybody. Oh no, please be offside, he isn't. Ronaldo's through. Don't make a foul, okay, he's trying a long shot, that's... I don't know if I should say this decent defending, but that was a huge mistake. He was a bit too egoistic there, to be honest, because Bale was completely open. Baba, can you have a decent shot? What a shot! Decent save by Navas. That was a shot with a lot of power. First big chance for us. He had this free kick and that was way... I didn't even ask him to, do, uh, to put that much power on that. That was a decent shot with a corner. Yeah, okay, so you see what I mean. There are gonna be a lot of chances for both teams. There could be a lot of goals on both sides. Bay is too strong. I have no chance to defend him. Oh, good save. Bay is way too strong. I'm not I'm not even that scared of Ronaldo or Eden Hazard. Eden Hazard a bit, but not too scared. But I'm very, very scared of Gareth Bale. Because he... It, you have no chance to defend him. He just... He has the ball control, he is crazy good and can do everything. So we have no chance to defend him. Fakir with a lot of space. He has the pace and Bolo. Uh, they are too quick, so I have to drive with Fakir. He scores it though. 33 minutes played, 1 0. That's what I mean. It's quite easy to defend Eden Hazard. It's not that easy to. to why is Taxler going up off the pitch? Okay. Something happened to him, it seems like. But you see what I mean. It's quite easy to defend him. Even uh, Johannes Geist, who has like 65 swim speed. And Hazard will probably have like 85 and uh, 95 or something. Crazy swim speed. Taxla is a bit injured. I don't think I should risk it. So I will sub him off. It's not too important because Goretzka is a decent player as well. So I should not risk it. Um, this, what I did there, is not possible with Gareth Bay. That's the difference. In Hazard has amazing pace, dribbling, bong ball, finishing, crossing, yes. But Gareth Bay has the same things, even better finishing, and also have has strength and stamina and this stuff. So, Aiden Hazard will always try to use his pace. But you, if you can get in the in the tackle, can get... Okay, that is Aiden Hazard, number 44, just... I, uh, don't ask me what he did there, why he decided in a situation where we couldn't really do anything because I, there was not a, a situation or a possibility to pass it, he decides to do this. Crazy, stupid, and yeah, what I'm going to say, it's not possible to do that with Gareth Bale, so Johannes Geis, this is a huge chance for us, Johannes Geis will miss it, can we get the rebound, we can't, I knew he would save it. I was first thinking, of course, go to the right side as always. Then I decided, I might. I just had the feeling that um, he will save it, so I want to go into the mid. But then I thought, if I go to the mid and he saves it, 
and it would uh, kill myself. So I decided to still go top right or just to the right side, and it did not work out. Oh, huge chance. 2 0 would be such an amazing result. Show me what you can do. You have no chance to do anything. Here, you see, Eden Hazard, you are just bad. And again, from the right side, Fakir, I will cut inside. And Bolo makes the run, I will try to pass it through. He is not offside, and the pass is just a bit too far. Ah, oh, damn it, man. We are playing actually really amazing. One of the best games um, I've played in the last few days, for sure. Uh, one is still an amazing resort, but we could definitely win already 2-0. I don't understand why they are always attacking from the left side, even though on the other side they have Gareth Bale, Rams Rodriguez, Kroni Gross, who are playing quite decent today. On the left side, Marcelo and especially Inaza are just really bad. But they are, as you can see, always going from the left side. But then Inaza has the ball, and wait for it. Ooh, he's actually making a decent pass, but in the end, saved by Ralle. Hazard has some space. Again, what will he do? Yes! Oh no! He made another huge mistake actually. I was happy again. And then guys, I don't know what guys is doing there in the end. It's number 16. I don't even know who it is. Not Casimiro, I think. I'm not sure. We had the ball here and guys just give the ball away and then it's quite an easy finish. Who is this dude team? Kovacic. So goddamn stupid. And this is how it's won all. Which would not be a uh, it would be a no wide episode, but Real Madrid, I think, would also be really, especially after this game, would be what is going on now. Really happy with that because they got their away goal, they got a draw. We managed to actually injure um, Bayer, that's cool. But uh, that's so stupid now that we consider this goal. Instead of scoring the second. But now look at how open they are. DP is quite dead, but Marcelo is also dead, and DP is a lot faster, so DP has no chance. I will short post it. Come on, yes! This is really important to just four minutes after we conceded answer. They still have an away goal. One would have been better than 2 1, of course. But I don't care. We scored after Fekir no deep pay. 2 1, which would still mean we would win. And therefore, Rematid, of course, would have to win the second leg. We would just need a draw. So 2 1 would be very decent. So I will go a bit more defensive. Oh oh. Okay, thank God it's in Hazard. I mean, I Enazar is really hope on this game. He is so ba goddamn bad. I will not park the bus. I don't care. Maybe one more counter attack. But the important thing is that we get this win over the next five minutes. Last few minutes, injury time, and we do win this game 2-1. We played amazing. We missed a penalty. Missed a few chances. They could have won this 2-0 as well. But in the end, of course, stupid mistake, and we missed a penalty. Ah. But in the end, 2-1 is still this result. Napoli is actually amazing. If they get through Barcelona after they were able to beat Man City, I would say they would be the big favorites for the league title. Wolfsburg won, so we had 6 points in front of 2nd, 8 points in front of 3rd, and still 13 points in front of Bayern, and we are 17 points in front of Leverkusen, so I think I will simulate this, um, the game against Leverkusen as well. Draxler is at least just injured for 7 days, so I think he will be back for the second game against them. And against Leverkusen I will use my Sanctuary squad, so I think that's fine. If he's back against Real Madrid for the second game, then I think it's fine. Play returns from injury, isn't it Draxler or who is it? Hübertes? Draxler? Hübertes. Maybe Hübertes can actually make the game. That would be awesome if he could make it. I just checked on the day of the game against Real Madrid and it said still three weeks. So normally he should still be injured for almost two weeks, or yeah, basically two weeks. So he shouldn't be back yet. But if he can make it, that would be quite awesome. So Leverkusen chopped on to seven for something actually because some other teams already played. A tour would be enough for me. A draw again would definitely be enough. They're playing with first choice squad. A draw and I'm happy. Wolfsburg is winning, Bayern is winning, Dortmund is losing. We are drawing, so yet I'm quite happy. Bender's going for them, that's not good. Bayern is just drawing, Dortmund is drawing. That's touch for Weiser, doesn't really make sense. Dortmund is still drawing. Bayern is losing against Mainz. If you can score a late goal, I would be really happy. Nope, uh, Chupo is worse if Chupo is not injured, really. That's one, how we ended. Bayern tour, Bayern worse with a loss, uh, with a win. So we lost both games. Quite disappointed by that against Bayern is okay, but against Leverkusen we should really lose. 
Okay, just one day, that's cool. So as you can see, the situation is not the best. Weiss was dead, Nastasia was stark, okay, Taxla is very much dead. But also the backups are all dead. I decided Traxler, I actually think I can't use him in this game at all, so he will not even be on the bench. On the other side, um, Kovalenko is playing not Koretska, Weiser is quite dead, but new is not really much better. Veridis is also not fit enough, so I can't really change anything. I can sub off Weiser maybe, as well as um, one of the center backs. Uh, Dusa is also dead, Koretska, I can't really change it. I'm happy that the midfield and the attack is quite fine. But yeah, I can't really change it. So I might have to play 45 minutes with Weiser and 45 minutes bit, uh, with Bonneur. Okay. Alright, we did win 2-1 the first leg. We just needed 4 in the second. And we are through. If we score 2 goals, of course, they have to score 4. But I don't really... F I'm not sure if we can score 2 goals. So my goal will be... Um, or how I will play is quite defensive. I'm trying to not concede as long as possible. So that they get the pressure. I mean, wonder for them and they're going through. I want them to go where we're attacking and then have the counter attacks. I think this makes the most sense, basically. So they're playing extremely attacking, like maybe uh, even Ramos is not staying back. So basically just one player is really staying back and that's Varan. Everybody else is just going attacking. This gives us the counter attacks on the other side. They are getting quite close to a goal as well. Oh, another shot, another huge save, 10 minutes played. And they had already two good chances. Mm, this is not good situation. Ronaldo scores. Yep, that's the thing. They have the pace. They have the pass. They're playing a stream. They're taking Ronaldo with his um, um, celebration. In the end, it was like four against two here because everybody's going attacking. And then, yeah, Ronaldo just scores it. So, one more for Real Madrid at the moment. They are going through. So, the situation has changed a bit. We now need a goal. Otherwise, we are going out. Come on, Mbolo. Here's the ball. Fekir in the middle. If it's a good pass. What a pass as well! Almost the goal. Amazing passing there from Mbolo Fekir. The assist or the pass from Mbolo was very great. What is this bullshit? This is just wasting time. Are they doing the same thing again? Almost. They're, they're trying to do the same thing again. Alright. And this is the result. What the actual fuck? What the actual fuck? A throw, then with a chest, pass it back, another throw, again pass it back, and then this. Great stuff, Real Madrid, great stuff. They're getting stupid, trying to waste time, and just giving us a goal. Nice work by Dipe, who are again here almost um, won the ball back. Great work by um, closing the goalkeeper down, but that's just, that's just retarded what they did there. Okay, one all, if he score one more goal... They need four. They need to win by two. So maybe we actually have to go attacking. But for now, let's hopefully not concede. That's way too easy. There is just the gap. One pass. They are they are too fast for us. But if we can get a one or two into half time, then I would say that would be quite amazing for us. That would help us a lot. Oh, the course is going full. He's still going full. Man, I don't think I ever had that many troubles. Um, defending a team, except of course Leverkusen and FIFA 16. But they are just going through. I have, I will, I'm trying my best. But I basically have no chance. They are way too good. The only player who basically really is doing something is Rale, who is just saving shots like every two minutes. Without him doing a great job, he would, I don't know, lose this. Oh my goodness, I almost did the same mistake. But it's still there. Hazard. Fuck's sake, you can see we are so got luck at the moment, it's nothing else. I don't have a chance of defending them. It's just luck at the moment. Not the best one store, but Fakir has actually some space, so let's pass it to Fakir. Nobody's even trying to close him down. Fakir, can he do it again? If that would have been a goal, and it should have been for sure. It's 2-1. I mean, he even had a shot on his left foot, he should score that. It's 2-1. And if you get a 2-1 into half time, that would mean they would have to win or score 3 goals, at least 3 goals in the second half. I would say 2-1 at half time might have been game over. 3-2 in total, 1 all in the second leg if you score another goal. If they score 1 and it's 2-1 of course, then it would go into extra time. 
if you score one more and I will definitely go for another goal because I wouldn't feel good with like a one all after 85 minutes because one goal we actually have to go into extra time and I really don't want to because I think then we would lose. Fakir actually has so much space again. Come on, decent first touch. It's not the best one. But he still has the chance. Short post. God damn, Nabil Fakir having two huge chances. Because a second goal would be more or less game over. With the corner, yes. And again, it is guys crossing it in for Nastasic. Last episode, so he scored a goal like this. And that was an amazing header against two defenders. From, he was like 50 meters away from the goal maybe, like 13, 13, 13, 14, 15 meters away. What an amazing header and this might be game over. Three goals needed for Real Madrid in the next 40 minutes. That should be game over. We definitely should not concede three goals now. Fekir again with so much space, nobody really trotting him down. I don't understand this dude. I mean at least in the first game he scored a goal. But now in this game he had three huge chances, which should be quite an easy finish, at least one of them, but normally two of them should have been a goal. And he is just not scoring them. And Bolo, he hasn't scored yet, and Bolo won. That's a finish. I did not expect this to go in, that's a finish there from Mbolo. He hasn't scored for quite a long time, and then this. Not the best position, look at that, this hits the, I think this hit the post actually. Like, come, what's the camera, man? But, yeah, it hit the crossbar and uh, I think the post as well. That's a finish. 3-1, ladies and gentlemen. We will go into the Champions League semi-finals. We could actually do it and get the double. We won the German Cup as well. And we are first place with quite a decent um, distance to second in the league. Not that we any games remaining. And we will 100% go into the Champions League. If that would have been a goal into the Champions League semi-finals because they would now have to score 4 goals in 30 minutes. No way that this is happening. Oh, post. But I think it was again Eden Hazard. Oh, who is this dude? Baba actually makes a run. He could take the shot, he tried the bicycle kick. If Baba would score a bicycle kick at Madrid against Real Madrid, that would probably be the best moment of his life. Oh, almost another one and it was Koretska. We did go through 5-2 in total. I mean 5-2 is quite cl cl uh, quite clear actually with two wins. In war for one and a half games they were definitely a lot better than us. Barcelona unfortunately is actually going through so I really hope that we are not going to play against them. You can see that the yeah, Armenia played against them. Both actually, actually there were um, four English teams and it could have been a full English semi-finals, but now there are actually just two um, teams. And it seems like, yes, Man United was able to beat Arsenal. Liverpool was able to beat Ch um, Chelsea. So it's Ars uh, Man United there, I would take them. Liverpool, I would take them. I just don't want to play against Barca. The best thing, I think, in my opinion, would be that if um, if I could play against Man U in the semi-finals to take revenge, uh, re revenge of um, 2011, and Liverpool against Barca would be an amazing game. And then I would love... Then I wouldn't care if it's Liverpool in the final or Barca. I really want to play against Manchester United in the semi-finals. That would be amazing. Liverpool would be okay and Barcelona would... I really would not like to play against Barca already. Alright, and this is how we're gonna end this episode. As you can see, basically nobody cares about Köln. Especially if you win this next game and I will of course play it. I probably have to play it with my second choice squad, but that's fine. If you win against them... Definitely Köln has no chance. It is a fight against Wolfsburg. We have the same amount of points. We have a way better goal defense. If, if we win, we would be three points in front of us. Basically, that, uh, this means if you can win four out of the remaining five games, we will win the league. I will show you the calendar, but I will put the smiley over the Champions League games. I know already who we're playing against, but I really don't want to talk about it and don't um, spoil you. We play against um, Köln. We should win. Freiburg should win. Mainz we should win, so that means if we can, and Dortmund it's the derby, so we definitely want to win, so I think I will play, in the, um, I'm not sure, okay, I will play against Köln definitely in the next episode, then I will simulate the game against Freiburg, I think, if I can win against Köln, I would definitely simulate the game against Freiburg, because I think they are last or second last, and I think I think I will play the first game in the Champions League semi-finals. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, please smash the like button. Tomorrow I will continue with the Schalke 4 career mode. I hope you look forward to that. Tell me in the comments what you think, if you can do it or not. 
That's it. Have an amazing day until tomorrow's episode. And uh, yeah, nothing left to say. Bye, guys.